In a shocking turn of events, the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore, Maryland, suffered a catastrophic collapse after an out-of-control container ship struck one of its supports. The incident, which occurred at approximately 1.27 a.m. local time, sent shockwaves through the city as cars and construction workers plummeted into the Patapsco River below. Dramatic CCTV footage captured the moment of impact, with Baltimore Mayor Brandon M. Scott describing the scene as something out of an action movie. The 948-foot-long Singapore-flagged container ship, identified as the Dali, had reportedly lost power and was drifting uncontrollably before colliding with the bridge. Prior to the collision, the ship's crew issued a mayday request, alerting authorities to their dire situation. Maryland Governor Wes Moore confirmed that officials were able to slow traffic on the bridge, preventing more vehicles from becoming involved in the disaster. He has since declared a state of emergency in response to the incident. Bridge designer Ian Firth, former president of the Institution of Structural Engineers, explained that the bridge, a continuous through truss structure that opened in 1977, was not designed to withstand such a direct hit from a massive container ship. He noted that the force imparted by a vessel of that size, even at a relatively low speed, would be immense and far beyond what the bridge supports were intended to sustain. Dr. David Collings, senior technical director at global consultancy Arcades, emphasized that when bridges and large ships intersect, the bridges often come off worse. He stated that when designing new bridges, the impact forces are so significant that designers aim to keep bridges and ships apart by increasing spans or using physical barriers. For existing bridges, risk assessments are carried out to consider the likelihood and consequences of potential impacts. Rescue teams have been working tirelessly to search for survivors in the wake of the collapse. Of the eight construction workers on the bridge at the time of the incident, two were rescued, with one hospitalized. The fate of the remaining six workers remains unknown, as officials transition from rescue to recovery operations. In response to the tragedy, U.S. President Joe Biden has pledged to reopen the Port of Baltimore and replace the destroyed Francis Scott Key Bridge as soon as humanly possible. He has directed his team to move heaven and earth to achieve these goals and expects Congress to support his effort to have the federal government cover the entire cost of reconstructing the bridge.